The MTR Corporation is injecting over $65 billion over the next five years to enhance railway maintenance. This after the rail operator completed a thorough assessment of its maintenance and asset management practices. Veronica Lin reports. Last year, blunders involving trains and compartments occurred at Yomate Station and the Cheongkun No Line. The MTRC later commissioned an expert panel to conduct a comprehensive assessment on maintenance and asset management. And half a year later, it has recommended five action areas in which the rail giant can enhance its regime. In terms of maintenance, the panel suggested MTRC accelerate the application of innovation and technology in railway services and asset management. That includes a pilot launch for the South Island Line in November this year and a rollout to other lines in the third quarter of next year. The MTRC will also fight for longer maintenance time during the tra long traffic hours. Train schedules will not be affected in the short run. The manpower shortage and maintenance for the company reached 11 percent last year, but the real giant will be undertaking more new construction projects in the future. To attract more manpower, the MTR Corp plans to introduce a four-hour workday option, allowing employees to have a more flexible schedule. The MTR promised to invest $65 billion on railway maintenance and renewal over the next five years. From our daily income, uh, op from our operations, including fare and non-fare, um, as well as from our property. So all those income will be uh, funding this $65 billion. And they will not be transferred to the passengers in terms of the increase because our fare is governed by our fare adjustment mechanism. Meanwhile, Secretary for Transport and Logistics Lam Se Hun said, so far, there's no need to import foreign labor to help ease the MTR's frontline manpower shortage. He added they will decide on a case-by-case -case basis on whether the rail operator should shorten rail service hours to improve maintenance. Veronica Lin, TVB News.